Welcome to Maths Easy. Hello friends, as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels, I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to solve chapter rational numbers of class 7, exercise 4.1, question number 6. So if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of uh, publication of Goel Brothers of class 7 mathematics books, the chapter's names are integers, decimals, linear equations, fractions. You can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available. Moreover, I have solved many chapters of class 8 maths book of same publication of that is Goel Brothers. So you can go and check, the, uh, check them out to uh, see the solution of those particular chapters, the chapters name are rational numbers, square and square roots, cube and cube roots, algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, linear equations in one variable, percentage and its applications, probability, surface area and volume and so on. So let's check it out how to solve exercise 4.1 question number 6. So here In this question, question number six, we have to tell between the two rational numbers which rational number is greater. So there is a procedure to find out the greater rational number if two or more than two rational numbers are given to us. First of all, make sure there should not be any negative number in the denominator. So first remove the negative number from the denominators. Now 1 by minus 5 has become minus 1 by 5 and minus 6 by 7 is okay. First of all we will take the LCM of denominators. In denominators LCM of we will take LCM of 5 and 7, that would be equal to 35. Now, equate the decimal, equate the denominators with the LCM. So, write out minus 1 by 5 and equate this denominator with 35. So, how would we equate? We will multiply numerator and denominator with 7 so as to bring 35 into the denominator. So it has become minus 7 by 35. Now come to minus 6 by 7. Equate the denominator. It will multiply by 5 only. Now you can see two new fraction numbers are here. So from as the denominator are equal we can tell which number is greater by watching or by seeing the numerator. So, of course, minus 7 by 35 is greater than minus 30 by 35. Because in negative, smaller number is bigger, larger and bigger number is smaller. So, minus 7 by 35 means 1 by minus 5 is greater than Minus 6 by 7. This is our answer. Hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. So here, 1 by minus 5 is greater than minus 6 by 7. Let's move to the next question. So, second part is three by minus four and minus five by six. So, here again we will put negative sign to the numerator. 
and minus 5 by 6. Take the LCM of 4 and 6. Which would be coming out to be as 12. Now equate minus 3 by 4. Equate the denominator of minus 3 by 4 with 12. So it will be multiplied by 3 only. Minus 9 by 12. And equate minus 5 by 6. 2 into 2. That is minus 10 by 12. So from 9 by 12, minus 9 by 12, minus 10 by 12, we can easily detect that minus 9 by 12 is greater than minus 10 by 12. That is 3 by minus 4 is greater than minus 5 by 6. This is our answer. Hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box. So this is our answer. Hope the question is clear. Now let's move to the third part. So third part is Minus 21 by 5 and minus 32 by 7. As negative numbers, negative signs are all already in the numerators. So we will directly take the LCM of 5 and 7, which would be equal to 35. Now equate minus 21 by 5 with 35. So both the numerator and denominator will be multiplied by 7 only. 7 1 the 7, 7 2 the 14, minus 147 by 35 and equate minus 32 by 7 with 5 into 5 by 5. So 35 and it will be coming out to be as 16, minus 160. So we can easily tell that minus 147, minus 147 by 35 is greater than minus 160 by 35 means minus 21 by 5 is greater than minus 32 by 7 it is our answer hope the question is clear so we can easily tell which rational number is greater and which is the smaller let's move to the fourth part So fourth part is seven by minus eight and eleven by minus four. First of all, shift the, these negative sign to the numerator. Now take the LCM. which would be equal to 8 only, equate minus 7 by 8, 1 by 1, minus 7 by 8, and equate minus 11 by 4, 2 by 2, that is minus 22 by 8. So we can easily say that minus 7 by 8 is greater Two minus 22 by 8 means 7 by minus 8 is greater than 11 by minus 2. So we can say that 7, minus, 7 by minus 8 is greater. Hope the question is clear.
So this is our answer. Let's move to the fifth part. So fifth part is minus six by 11 and minus two by 13. So take the LCM as no negative sign in the denominator. So no need to change it. LCM of 11 and 13 is 143. Equate the denominators. 143 by minus 78 by 143. Now minus 2 by 13. 11 into 11. That would be equal to minus 22 by 143. So from this we can easily say that minus 22 by 143 is greater than minus 78 by 143. That is minus 2 by 13 is greater than minus 6 by 11. So we can say that minus 2 by 13 is greater. Hope the question is clear. Now let's move to the sixth part. So sixth part says minus 49 by 2. And 35 by minus 3. First, shift the negative sign. So minus 49 by 2 and it will become minus 35 by 3. Now take the LCM of 2 and 3. Which is equal to 6. So minus 49 by 2 into 3 by 3. 6. And minus 49 would be equal to minus 147. So it will become minus 147 by 6. Now come to the minus 35 by 3 into 2 into 2. That is 6 by minus 70. So, from this and this, we can say minus 75, minus 70 by 6 is greater than minus 147 by 6. Or we can say that minus 35 by 3 is greater than minus 49 by 2. Or we can say minus 35 by minus 3 is greater. This is our answer. Hope the this part which is 6th part is clear. Let's move to the 7th part. So 7th part is sixteen by minus 7 and minus 2 by 11. First, shift the negative sign to the numerator. Now, LCM of 7 and 11 is 77. So, minus 16 by 7. 11 by 11. So, it will become 77. And minus 176. Now minus 12 by 11, 7 into 7, that is 77 and minus 84. So we can say that minus 84 by 77 is greater than minus 176 by 77. Or we can say minus 12 by 11 is greater than 16 by minus 7. So we can say minus 12 by 11 is 
Great. Hope the question is clear. Let's move to the eighth part, which is the last part of this question. So eighth part is two by five and minus eight by minus thirteen. They both will get cancelled. Now take the LCM of five and thirteen, which is equal to sixty five. Now equate 2 by 5 into 13 by 13. So 65 by 26 and 8 by 13 into 5 by 5. So 65 by 40. So here we can say 40 by 65 is greater than 26 by 65. Or we can say 8 by 13 is greater 2 by 5 or minus 8 by minus 13 is greater than 2 by 5 or we can write minus 8 by minus 13 is greater. You can write any of the way. All these ways to write your answer is correct. So hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, do comment into the comment box to ask your doubts. So it was all about question number six of exercise 4.1 chapter rational numbers. Have a full glance once again of all the parts of question number six. First part, second part, third part, fourth part, fifth part, sixth part, seventh part and eighth part. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. In my next video, I'll be solving next questions of the same exercises. Thank you so much.